in the pop the balloon thing, uh, you mentioned that you take religion serious because you're Muslim. Yeah. So what is it like being a Muslim woman and trying to date, knowing that you take the religion aspect serious? It's it's hard. Um, and I actually got backlash for that because I don't appear to be like your average Muslim woman. You know what I'm saying? I don't appear to be covered up like how they Muslim men, uh, very strict Muslim men. Let me not say that because I'm I'm more like a modernized, you know, westernized Muslim woman. Like I grew up in America, you know, so I don't appear to be that girl. But it's hard because. Naturally, a man is not going to be like, oh, she's Muslim. Is I need to put it up. You, you know, she's Muslim, you know, or she might. And I tell guys that now, like, if you guys in my DMs, even from the show, you know, from all walks of the world, they're like, oh, I want to get to them. I'm like, no, thank you. And, you know, I tell them my non-negotiable is a non-Muslim man. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not. Have I dated non-Muslim men? I've dated non-Muslim men, if I'm being honest, all my life. You know, all my life, that's what I've dated because I'm not around a Muslim community. I'm not around a Muslim tribe. I'm not around, you know, places where I can, you know, just be around Muslim men. And even in social media, I'm not in the that community. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, the typical guy that's approaching me, he's a regular American guy. He's a reg He might be Christian. He might be spiritual. He might be whatever. He's not going to be a Muslim guy, you know. Um, so you do you want to get married? Absolutely. So he has to be a Muslim man is what you're saying? Absolutely. Okay. So even if everything, even though you've dated Christian, non-Muslim men in the yeah. past, I should say, yeah. Uh, like, did you know that it wasn't going to that extent of marriage because they weren't Muslim? Yeah. So why stay there then? I, I stayed there because um, I'm going to go from recently like the guys i've dated recently would say they're spiritual right um and spiritual can mean in so many it can be interpreted in so many different levels yeah. in different ways okay. so i never like look down on it um because even though i say i'm muslim i have a spiritual side you know to me like where i'm just i believe certain things you know in certain ways and i go with what aligns with me mm -hmm. and i feel like most people that say they're spiritual well, a lot of the guys that I have dated, that's, either they say they don't have a religion or they're spiritual. Mm -hmm. Like they don't resonate with Islam or they don't resonate with Christianity. Mm -hmm. I give them a chance because it's like maybe, you know, you might change your mind. As far as converting to converting, Islam? Converting, yeah. He might change his mind, you know. Um, and I've had guys that will say that, well, I'll become a, don't become a Muslim for me. I want, you know what I'm saying, you to find God within yourself. So that way, you know, he allows you to find me. And we do what we got to do together mm -hmm. and raise our kids. And, and that's one thing I'm big on. I'm like, I don't want to raise my kids confused. We live in a world that is so much confusing you know, confusion. Like if my kids grow up and they like, oh, I want to be a different, you know, religion, whatever. Cool. That's your choice. But I grew up in a household where I was born and raised a Muslim. You mm -hmm. know, I grew up where both my parents were together. They were married and the household was together, you know, mm -hmm. and it was structured. Yeah. So for me, it's like when I do get married, I want to have that same structure, that same culture, that same tradition. I want to pass it on to my kids because everything my parents instilled in me is still with me today. Not, you know, I might have, you know, did some stuff, whatever, or I might have kind of went astray or I might have been rebellious. But in the back of my mind, I always had, well, my mom and my dad taught me, mm -hmm. or, you know, the things that I grew up with, my culture has always made me go back to that. And I appreciate it more now that I'm older and I can say, okay, I am, you know, comfortable. I am confined in my religion and I want to be able to find a man who is also that because how can we live together? How can we be together? And we can't even pray together, you know? So how do you go about being around or trying to find a Muslim man? I don't, which is kind of crazy for me because I don't know how to um culturally they would say oh if you want to get married because a lot of you know muslim people they do arrange marriages mm -hmm. they'll do arranged marriages so if you're like seeking you know marriage whatever you're you be like you tell your mom or your dad they might go to the community hey my daughter which is so bizarre to me my daughter wants a husband or whatever and i think that's why i got the backlash from like 
that community when I, you know, when I said on the show, oh, I'm Muslim, I'm, you know, religious, whatever. They're like, oh, how can she be religious? Because if you wanted a man, you should have went to the mosque or you should have went X, Y, and Z. I get what you're saying, but that's how you guys did it. That's the old day in culture. You know what I'm saying? Like we live in a new generation and I guess, I can't really say too much because I did go on a show saying, hey, I want to find love, even though intentionally that wasn't my intention. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. um, the backlash was, oh, how can she say she's Muslim and she went on a Christian dating show? Mm -hmm. You're trying to, you know, say, oh, I'm big on my religion, but you're trying to date a Christian man. And I don't know. Religion is a big controversy and, and I feel like it can be taken a certain way and sometimes you gotta just watch what you say or what you do because the people that say they're so religious are always the ones who, you know what I'm saying, come at your throat. But it's just like if I dated this person who is not Muslim and I, you know, I was able to get him to seek God the way I seek God, that's a good thing mm -hmm. because now he seeks God, you know what I'm saying? In, this, in the same way as you Yeah, do. and then I just brought him closer to God. That, you know, that should be a great benefit. So help me understand something. You're saying that, but then earlier you said you don't want to do to change his religion because of you. No, but uh, no, not because of me. Like, you know, if a guy will say, oh, I'll become a Muslim for you. Mm -hmm. Don't become a Muslim okay. for me. Okay. I want you to, because I also even, I've had a guy who was like, teach me the religion. I want to become Muslim for you. And I told him, I said, don't become Muslim for me. Yeah. I said, I could give you, you know, books. I could give you whatever. Go seek Allah, you know, God for yourself. Right. And if it's something that aligns with you and we are aligned in the future, I am open to that. But for you to tell me bluntly, like, just because you want to be with me, oh, I become Muslim. You're not even taking the, you know, the religion serious. You're just trying to become it to be with me. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to be with me. Mm -hmm. Because if you go find God, guess what he going to do? He going to find me for you. Mm -hmm. And that's how I look at it. Yeah. You know, and I think because my appearance, the way I look, the way I, I, I'm approached, I don't come off as your typical Muslim girl. So it's just like, don't don't be saying you're this and you're that because mm -hmm. you don't represent us in a um a good light. Yeah. You know, so. That's what you're saying. But yeah. I got a lot of backlash off of that. That's why I was like, mm, I don't even want to, you know. No, people were literally telling me, don't claim us. I'm like, I'm mm. not claiming y'all. I'm claiming God. Right, <laughs> You right. know, so take it how you want to take yeah. it. So, okay. like, my even my family, they were upset. Yeah. Like, I mean, upset. Mm. I, I'm literally explaining to my mom. I'm like, Ma, it was a joke. Yeah. I'm like, you know me. Yeah. We were literally arguing. I'm like, you know me. Yeah. I'm like, do you really think I'm going to go on a, a show to actually find a man, marriage. Yeah, yeah to get married. And, I, of and no, for real, because it's so crazy to her, you know, show. because she pressures like that, you know, like in my culture, when you're a certain age too, like it's, they put that pressure on you. You need to get married. If you, like my mom would be like, if you got a man right now, what are you waiting on? You need to get married. I'm like, I don't want these niggas. And I really tell my mom that I don't mm -hmm. want these niggas, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> and she'd be like, so what you waiting on? I'm waiting on God. And she hates even when I say that. I'm like, if y'all believe in that, I'm like, when, when it's my time, and I think the pressure when you are past your 20s or whatever, mm -hmm. I'm 34. Mm -hmm. And I think society puts that pressure on women. Like, why is she not married? Why is she not this? Why is she not that? <clears throat> why do you think that is? That it's the pressure of society and family. Yeah. You hear a lot of women's mothers that be like, when are you getting married? Yeah, what when are you, you going to do this? On? When are you going to do that? Where do you think that comes from? I just think it's the way they were brought up. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Um, where I'm from, you got married young mm -hmm. like i mean if you reach your puberty like you 13 you didn't mm -hmm. got your cycle we got to get her married because they don't want you to be outside mm -hmm. and i think you know that's what it is so it's just like what is she waiting on you yeah. know and i guess for them it's more so like let me protect her you know while she's young go ahead get her married and it was just a religion you know the whole religion thing where when you're married you're safe yeah Okay, so sense? security. I, yeah, that makes sense. The yeah. security aspect. I think the timing aspect is serious as well. Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of women do say I'm waiting, whatever may have you. And their mom may be like, well, time is of the essence. Let's let's exactly. just be honest that's what, about it. Yeah, that's like, what my mom says. Yeah, like, like with women, it's different as compared to men. We can reproduce yeah. shit. Didn't Robert De Niro just have a kid and he's like 80 something? Exactly. We can reproduce whenever. I know, I don't know the exact time with women, but it's different. Y'all don't have as long... 
uh, of a time frame to reproduce. And I think that's another thing that's taking Yeah, that plays, really you know, well. a big factor. But it, to me, I look at it like, who are you to tell God? Oh, you know, when, when, sure, what was Janet Jackson had? What, a kid at 50 or whatever? Yeah, she was like in her 50s. But I mean, I'm, I know it's complications that come to, to it. Yeah, that. it comes complications to it, but it may not be in your destiny. You know, that's how I look at it. It may not be in your destiny as much as you want it. It may not be. I could, I could want marriage so bad, but guess what? God might say, you know what? No. Nah. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna get married, and I tell that to my mom. I'm like, if it's not, you know, what I'm saying for me, I'm not gonna get married, or I'm not gonna be with someone just to say it happened. Just cause. Because it's a lot. I see a lot of miserable marriages. I yeah. see a lot of miserable relationships. I am okay with being single. I actually love being single. Mm-hmm. I mean, I do want marriage, but I love being single. So I saw a tweet from a woman that said, "Women in their 30s and plus that say they like being single." are lying and deep down inside they really want to be with a man. What did I just say though? I I love being single meaning I enjoy like I said my solitude and everything, but mm. I do want marriage. Okay. I I never I would never deny that. Like mm. I think we are brought on this earth. Men and women are brought on this earth to need each other. Yeah. We're and, relationship creatures. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, God didn't create men and women just for us to be chilling by ourselves. Right. But it has to serve a purpose. You know what I'm saying? It has to serve a purpose. And if it doesn't serve a purpose for me, why am I going to just say, oh, I want to be with this person? I want to. I see women that are married, have kids, and and they're still doing manly duties. You know, like, why are you putting us this up? Or why are you doing that? Or why are you go? You know, it's just, I don't know. I think I'm still old school with it. Like, I still expect a man to do certain things. Or if you're in a household with, if I'm in a household with my husband, I don't expect to do certain things. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here. I don't care if I know how to do handiwork. I'm not going to do handiwork. And I see women that are do that and they live in a a house with a man. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, like I said, maybe I'm just old school and I still like, I don't care how independent I am. I still expect a man to be a man and play his certain role because as a a woman, I'm still going to, you know, be that nurturer and I'm going to play that role no matter how independent I am. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know, but it just don't make sense to me. It don't make sense. So you have to make it make sense before yeah, you. Yeah, everything got to make it make sense to me, yeah. and it has to serve a purpose. I'm not yeah. just going to be with someone. I'd rather be alone. You know, nah, I'd rather be I, single. I, it's I, less stressful. I I definitely agree with that. As far as it has to make sense. Yeah. 